we're diving deep into the fascinating world of motivation. Have you ever wondered what makes us tick? What drives us to do the things we do? Well, buckle up because we're about to unravel the mysteries of human behavior. Let's start with the basics. Imagine your brain as a powerful engine, constantly firing on all cylinders. But what fuels this engine? Motivation. It's like the spark that ignites a fire within us, propelling us towards our goals. One of the most famous theories about motivation is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Imagine a pyramid with different levels. At the bottom, we have our basic needs like food, water and shelter. As we move up the pyramid, we encounter higher needs like safety, love, belonging, esteem and finally, self-actualization. Think of it like climbing a ladder. We start by satisfying our most basic needs and as we fulfill them, we strive for higher levels of fulfillment. Motivation is like the fuel that keeps us going. It can come from external sources like rewards or praise, but it can also stem from within, from our own desires and aspirations. Ah, oh, dopamine, the feel-good neurotransmitter. It's like a little reward that our brain gives us whenever we achieve something meaningful. Whether it's finishing a project, hitting a personal goal, or even something as simple as receiving a compliment, dopamine gives us that extra boost of motivation to keep going. But motivation isn't just about rewards. It's also about our beliefs and mindset. Ever heard of the phrase mind over matter? Well, our thoughts and attitudes play a huge role in determining our level of motivation. People with a growth mindset believe that their abilities can be developed through dedication and hard work. They see challenges as opportunities to learn and grow. On the other hand, those with a fixed mindset believe that their abilities are set in stone, leading to a fear of failure and a lack of motivation. So it's not just about what we do, but also how we think about what we do that determines our level of motivation. Take, for example, athletes. They face setbacks and challenges all the time, but it's their determination and resilience that keep them motivated to push through. Or think about entrepreneurs who are driven by their passion and vision to create something meaningful. Hey, my name is Shark, an athlete. For me, motivation comes from setting goals and challenging myself to be better every day. It's about focusing on the process rather than the outcome. Absolutely. When you're passionate about what you do, motivation comes naturally. It's like fuel for the journey towards success. Whether it's in schools, workplaces or communities, we can all play a role in nurturing motivation. By providing encouragement, celebrating achievements and fostering a culture of growth and learning, we can empower each other to reach new heights. As educators, it's our responsibility to create a learning environment where students feel motivated to explore, experiment, and discover. By tapping into their interests and passions, we can ignite a lifelong love of learning. Motivated employees are the driving force behind any successful organization. By creating a supportive culture where people feel valued and inspired, we can unlock their full potential and drive innovation and growth. Motivation is like the engine that drives us forward. It can come from external rewards, internal desires, or our mindset. By understanding the psychology behind motivation, we can unlock our full potential and achieve our dreams. So let's not only focus on our own motivation, but also on inspiring and uplifting those around us. Together, we can create a world where everyone has the opportunity to thrive and succeed corporate ladder, chasing your dreams, or simply trying to get out of bed in the morning, motivation is the key to unlocking a world of possibilities. So stay motivated, stay inspired, and never stop reaching for the stars. Remember, no matter where you are in life, you have the power to inspire and be inspired. So let's keep spreading positivity, encouragement, and motivation wherever we go. Before you go, I want to hear from you. What motivates you in life? Is it a big dream you're chasing? The love and support of family and friends? Or maybe just the joy of learning something new every day? Share your thoughts in the comments below. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on personal development and psychology. Together, let's make the world a more motivated and fulfilling place. See you in the next video.